If you're starting from zero and dreaming about becoming an automation tester or QA engineer, this is the only roadmap you'll ever need. I'll walk you through every step from understanding the basics all the way to landing your first offer. Let's go from zero to hero fast. Hello and welcome to the GNT Creator YouTube channel. I have over 8 years of experience in automation testing. As a QA lead, I've seen what it takes to break into this field. And if I were starting from scratch today, this, this is the exact roadmap I'd follow to land my first job as quickly as possible. First of all, let's clarify one important thing. By saying fast, we will understand the time frame from 6 months to a year approximately. It really depends on how much time you can dedicate each day and how committed you are to learning. But don't worry, if you do follow this roadmap, you will have pretty good chances to land your first tech job soon. Here is the path I'd followed if I were starting today. And now it's yours too. Let's get started. Step number one. Understand the basics. Before anything else, understand the world you're stepping into. Learn what software is, how the internet works, and how web and mobile apps are built and delivered. Understanding the core concepts is the key to unlocking everything that comes next. Step number two. Learn as DLC and as TLC. Now dive into software development lifecycle and software testing lifecycle. You need to understand each phase, from requirements to design, development, testing, deployment, and maintenance. This is how real-world teams build products. Step number three, agile methodology. Most companies today use agile. Learn what sprints are, how Scrum works, and who does what, developers, testers, product owners, Scrum masters. It's all about collaboration and fast feedback. Step number four, manual testing and testing techniques. Before automation, manual testing is a must. Learn how to think like a tester, explore test case design techniques, boundary value analysis, equivalence partitioning, exploratory testing, etc. Learn how to find real bugs. Step number five, pick up a real or mock project. Write user stories, test cases, and try to think from user's perspective. For example, Amazon.com. Write test cases to test a login page or search field. Define what users should do step by step and what is the expected result for each step. This will simulate a real QA job and build your confidence. Step number six, first steps into automation. Once you're comfortable with manual testing, it's time to dip into automation. Choose a programming language like Java, Python, or JavaScript, for example, and a framework like Selenium, Playwright, or Cypress. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a video covering the most popular programming languages and automation testing frameworks. I can break down the stats, trends, and share my own insights to help you choose the best tools for your career. Step number seven. Set up a framework from scratch. You want to be a job ready? Then learn to build your test automation framework from scratch. Use tools like Selenium, Maven, TestNG, GUnit, etc. and understand folder structure, runners, reports, and other parts. You need to be able to set up a framework from scratch and be able to explain all the connections. Step number eight, learn programming basics. Even as a tester, you need to know how to code. Learn the basics, variables, conditions, loops, functions, arrays, and object-oriented programming. You don't have to be a developer, just be comfortable writing and reading simple code. Resources like CodingBad, HackerRank, LeetCode will help you to build your skills. Step number nine, automate your manual test cases. Take those manual test cases from step number five and automate them. That's your proof of work. You're now bridging manual and automation, and that's powerful. Step number 10. Learn data and databases. Testers deal with data all the time. Learn SQL. Uh, practice writing queries, joins, filters, and understand how to validate backend data in testing. Check out my playlist 
SQL for testers and developers beginner friendly guide. Link is in the description under this video. Step number 11. Learn API testing. APIs are everywhere. Use Postman or rest assured to test them. Understand endpoints, requests, responses, and how to validate with automation. Step number 12. Keep practicing. This is not a one-time thing. Keep doing everything you've learned so far. Manual, automation, SQL, APIs, over and over again. Repetition builds mastery. Step number 13. Create a pet project. Build your own pet project, something you're proud of. Host it on GitHub. Maybe create a simple personal website to showcase your skills. This is your portfolio, and it shows initiative. This step will help you to show some real experience that you can use in your resume. Step number 14. Prepare for interviews. Search for top interview questions for every skill you've learned. Manual testing, Selenium, Java, SQL, Agile, etc. Know the answers and practice explaining clearly. Step number 15. Prepare your resume. Make a clean, keyword-rich resume that highlights your projects, tools, skills, and GitHub links. Keep it focused and easy to read. Step number 16. Start applying. Start applying every day. Use LinkedIn, other job boards, company websites. Tailor your resume if needed. Don't wait until you feel perfect. Start now. Step number 17. Practice while applying. While you're applying for jobs, keep practicing, keep coding, keep testing, keep learning. That momentum matters. Step number 18. Don't give up. You may and will be rejected. You might not hear back. That's normal. Don't take it personally. Take it as practice. Each no builds confidence for the big yes. Step number 19. Learn from your mistakes. Reflect on failed interviews, what went wrong, what questions stumped you. Fix those gaps and come back stronger. Step number 20. Receive your first offer. Stay on this path and you will get the first offer. It might take weeks or months, but it's coming if you're consistent. That's your breakthrough moment. And it's just the beginning. If you want more information about any of these steps, please let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to get more insights and valuable information. It was GNT Creator. I will see you in new videos. Bye.